right, folks, we're going to head into a topic that's important to all of us and uh, figure out, you know, I'm going to address it for the U.S., but for other countries as well. So I don't know about Canada, but <laughs> they'll be able to post and tell me what they do over there. When you get a power wheelchair here in the United States, um, you will be able, after the two and a half years reaching the three, to be able to change your batteries. So you can request some batteries. My suggestion is that you do it through your therapist because, you know, I've tried to do it on my end and it's, it's, it's really delayed um, right now. But um, you can change your batteries under the insurance. So, so that's good news. Uh, you might have to pay your 20% in there, but it's better than paying it for yourself because batteries tend to be a little expensive, around 200 something. So paying just 20% uh, will be awesome, <laughs> I think. Um, the other thing is, you know, this is about how to help your wheelchair um, last. So that's one of the things you can do is to make sure that you put on your calendar to start looking into changing those batteries after the two and a half years. Um, check your tires as well, because uh, you might get them covered. I'm not sure yet, uh, but you can ask uh, to see if your tires are covered. And if they are, uh, see if you can get them changed if they're not in very good shape. Um, those are the two things that are really priority for power wheelchairs. Uh, let's see, the other thing, to make your wheelchair last and to make sure that b the, the batteries are healthy is to plug it in every night. Uh, so don't let it run all the way down and then plug it in because it's, it's going to take a long time for it to charge and then also it just throws the battery off. The batteries are best to plug them in every night so they're ready for you in the morning and to have that routine going so that the batteries are healthy uh, for a longer period of time. Uh, let's see. Uh, making your batteries, well, your batteries need to be charged every night. Uh, the tires need to be uh, looked at, you know, and the way you drive as well, you know, depending on what kind of road you are on, whether you just use it at home, whether you use it at home or outside, um, it's, it's important to figure out how you drive outside and to make sure that you're not going into too many potholes. <laughs> so as many of us had to deal with potholes and... Um, to make sure you have a constant speed. I know that um, what can be a drain, I'm gonna back up a little bit here on the batteries, what can be a little bit of a drain on the batteries is that stop and go, stop and go, which we go through at home. You know, I, I end up doing that all the time, stop and go, stop and go, especially if I'm just in my room. So, so it's it, a little bit of drain. I wouldn't worry too much about it because, you know, that's what the power wheelchair is there for. Uh, but if you can give it a good run, you know, outside or in a parking lot or if you're going down the street for something or go to the store, you know, that's, that's healthy. It's kind of like a car. You have to think about a car, you know. It's good to give it a run on the freeway uh, I wouldn't take your power wheelchair on a freeway, but, <laughs> but I would take it down the street or in the parking lot so you can just kind of run it a little bit uh, because that's, that's also uh, good and healthy for the power wheelchair. And go outside, go to a park or something and uh, give it a nice, a nice run. Um, you got to be careful with the uh, upholstery, of course. Uh, try not to have too many crashes into sharp things <laughs> or have sharp things in your hands and then drop them. Uh, <laughs> so 
mine only has one itty bitty tiny hole in the upholstery in the back. I don't know what I bumped into, but there's a little tiny hole there. So, um, but it's so small that I'm I'm not worried about it. Um, let's see what else. Uh, cleaning it, you know, cleaning my keeping it as clean as possible uh, is very good uh, for the wheelchair. So. If you have somebody who can do it for you or for you to do it, you know, once every other month and clean it up and uh, with, the, with the tools that I've shared here, which I will put that here so you can have the link on how to clean your, your power wheelchair. Um, and manual wheelchairs, it just depends on the use. You know, power wheelchairs, the same thing. Uh, where do you go with your power wheelchair? Where do you go with your manual wheelchair? And to make sure you have tires available uh, with manual wheelchairs, uh, I think insurance will cover once. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, they might cover some parts on the manual wheelchair, but I'm not sure because I don't, I don't have a manual wheelchair at this point, so um, I'd have to look that up. But for power wheelchairs, they will cover batteries for sure. Tires, I don't know, but it's, it's very possible. If you do not have insurance, let's say you're somewhere else uh, in, in Canada or Tanzania or Congo or, you know, another country, uh, and you had to purchase your power wheelchair, then as soon as you get that power wheelchair, it's really important for you to start saving up so that after two and a half years, uh, if you've treated the battery well, uh, that you purchase a new battery and you have the old one as a backup. But purchase another battery at the two and a half mark, more or less. Um, and again, the same thing in other countries. You know, plug in your power wheelchair at night. If you don't have electricity, or the electricity is unpredictable, then uh, you'll have to plug it in when electricity is available. So, so that's a hard one uh, for those who have power wheelchairs and, and there's not much electricity or it gets cut off at certain times. So you'll have to plug it in when the electricity is, is available. Um, if you do that consistently, then it won't take so much uh, time to, to charge. Uh, to do Sometimes people can get uh, chargers, and then you can plug it into the charger, uh, but I don't know. Uh, it depends on what resources you have. And, um, and again, you know, in other countries uh, like Tanzania, Congo, uh, and, and other rough areas, uh, Australia, I want to say, you know, where there is there's rainy seasons and there is the winter seasons and there is dust and there is a lot of potholes. Nothing is a straight line. Uh, and there is no sidewalks or streets. The wheelchair is going to get you know, discombobbled a bit, and so it's important for you to have tools to tighten it a little bit after a few months. Make sure everything is is the way it's supposed to be. You might have a garage that can see your power wheelchair and make sure everything is tightened and it is secure and safe. So that's good too. Um, if if you want a garage to see your power wheelchair every six months or once a year, that's, that's also healthy. Um, I, I know all my points in, in where to take a look, so I'm used to that. But you, know, you can also purchase uh, some Allen wrenches and, um, and have those available if you want to do it yourself. And you know, if you have a garage next nearby, you can do that. Um, Let's see what else is good, you know, keep it clean. In Australia and other places, they have very rough terrain. The cleaning might happen, might have to happen uh, more, more often. So every, every month, you know, to get the dirt, the dust, the mud, <laughs> whatever's on the wheelchair, I had to get that off. 
Um, you know, you want to protect the motor as much as you can to make sure no mud or water gets in there. The most dangerous piece is the, is the water. You don't want to get the motor wet. I don't know what types of power wheelchairs they have in the East or in the African continent or Australia or Europe. Um, I, I haven't heard of waterproof power wheelchairs yet. <laughs> but if yours is uh, waterproof, <laughs> congratulations. Here in the US, we do not have um, waterproof wheelchairs, uh, power wheelchairs yet. So <laughs> for the manual wheelchair, it's, it's a matter of, you know, really hosing it down and getting all that care and debris out of the wheels, the, the wheels there, the center of the wheels. So, um, and there's already videos, plenty of wi videos on that. I will post a link for that here on YouTube. Um, looks complicated to me, but uh, people are really uh, feel safe doing it. So uh, I will put that on. And let's see. So terrain, batteries, wheels, and be checking your wheels uh, because that is the foundation of your power wheelchair and of your manual wheelchair. And if something starts to peel or something gets punctured, uh, you really want to, uh, you know, start looking into uh, tires because y you don't want an incident. You don't want, you know, tires to peel or get a hole in them because then that, that throws the hole wheelchair off balance and it's it's not good for the mechanism it will stretch that metal and everything else and it's not healthy for you either uh, to have those bumps those constant bumps when the the wheelchair when the wheels start to peel and to rip so I ha I saw a girl once her wheels were a disaster and she didn't know how or who to go to so um, and that's, that's important to ask the doctor. If you really don't know who to go to, ask your therapist, ask your doctor, and they'll give you some suggestions. Either back to your therapist, and the therapist will help you uh, as to where to get uh, wheels, but don't let the wheels fall apart on you because that'll damage the wheelchair, and, and it's, it's not easy for you either. Uh, to be going through rough terrain with um, with wheels that are falling apart. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wheels and batteries are the biggest thing. A uh, little tip. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. There we go. Uh, just a small little tip there that don't bog down your wheelchair with a lot of weight um, because that can really drain the battery quick. So I know that some people uh, really need to carry things with them, but you might want to design like a little cart to go in the back <laughs> and don't bog it down too much because then that will drain the battery for sure. Um, the cleaning, you know, depending on your terrain, how often your wheelchairs get dirty. Uh, you know, once a month, once every month. I clean mine about once every month every other month because, you know, I'm, I'm at home. I go out maybe once or twice a week and uh, I just make sure I stay on the sidewalk. <laughs> twice I've slipped off the sidewalk and I've ended up in the mud. We've had a lot of rain here, so it's very muddy. And I have a member here at the um, center who helps me with my wheels and to peel off the mud, <laughs> but it's not fun, <laughs> so. Um, so here in the United States, do your best to stay on the street or on the, on the sidewalk <laughs> and avoid the mud. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain, so especially in the west and the south. So, but here in the Midwest, we've had a lot of rain as well. So uh, the grass is so wet here that if, if I get my wheelchair into the, into the grass, it's gonna sink. That's how much rain we've received. So I'm hoping there's a lot of sun today. I'm hoping that some of that 
water just gets evaporated because it's been it's been tough. So those are the things that we need to keep in mind. So batteries, tires, keeping it clean. And if you get stuck, and you have any questions, um, you know, ask your therapist, ask a doctor where you can get XYZ materials to fix your, your wheelchair. All right. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.